the 1984 Olympics in Sarajevo. They are the incomparable Torval and Dean, and they're here to make their long-awaited United States debut at the Meadowlands Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Please help us welcome Jane Torville and Christopher Dean. You look so different off the ice. You haven't got to escape something. Yeah, the people, people must say that all the time. Gee, you look so different. What is it, huh? They think we're taller because we're used to seeing us just on the screen and the skates on. Right. And they ask you, I'm sure, all the time, if you're, if you're married, I mean, you get probably, what, are the, what do you hate? being asked more than anything else. I guess the married bit and, uh, you know, what you, what do you do in your spare time and where do you go? Do you have the same bedroom? And, oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we won't ask those. <laughs> Thank goodness Regis is not here right now. <laughs> Tell us about what you, what the year and a half has been like since, uh, since it's been two years now, I guess. It's yeah, year. two years since um, Sarajevo, and almost two years now. And since then, we've um, seemed to be working non-stop. We, did a, an Australian tour and as a result of that we met some people down there and we formed our own skating company and we rehearsed and we got it together we think and um, now we're, we're touring the world. I saw you on an interview recently where you said you had planned completely on doing something completely different and then skating happened. What was that all about? Um, well uh, uh, my career when, when I was young I was uh, going to be a policeman. Oh, and, that's, um, that's what it was yeah. And I was a policeman for about four or five years. How about you, Jane? Is that, did you have something else in mind also? No, I was just working in an office. It wasn't very exciting. Well, this has changed your life completely. I mean, who would have thought, huh? Yes. Let's take a, a look at, at you in action so that people will, will realize just what an office girl and a policeman have come to in life. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what, where you are here and what's happening? Um, this is one of our newest routines. It's a tango, it's a comedy number, which is something different for us. And it's very fun to do because I get to throw Chris around. That's fun to do. It's just have a man around. I like that. Yeah. Well, it looks like he's doing the throwing at the moment. No, that's the, that's the Valera course from the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Do you choreograph? Oh. If ice skating comes on, there's certain things in life that will grab my attention and I, I'm just locked to the tube. And ice skating is, is one of those things. Why do you think people are so fascinated by it? Because it's so hard to do. The rest of us can't do it very well at all. Possibly it's one of those mm. things that, you, you know, you have to spend a long time um, practicing before you can do it. And the thing is that to do it well, you have to be... You have to practice a lot to make it look easy, to make it look effortless. I and think, I think it's people, when they see, when you make it look easy, they feel that they can go out and do it. You know, this is the feel part of it. <laughs> Are you used to all the applause now and all the adoration, the autograph signing and such? We we got used to having more attention pages because, but it was gradual. Like the, we won um, the world championships for four years, and as that got nearer to the Olympic Games, we had more attention, you know, from media and so on, and uh, more fans. Um, writing to us. So it was a gradual thing and in that way we learned to cope with it better. It also adds more pressure though. Yes. You know, the more well known you become. Now that you're not competing actually and you're, you're able to do it basically as a living and for fun, how has your attitude towards skating changed? Well we still basically do it because we enjoy it, <clears throat> which is I think that's the most important thing. And, and now that it's more of a responsibility, we, we suddenly have to be grown-up, serious people. As before, it was just the two of us doing it for ourselves. And now it's now business. It, now it's business. You yeah. know, there are other people concerned, um, money involved. So everybody gets serious then. Right. Yeah. When money's involved. Now tell us how Vidal Sassoon is, is involved in this. So well, Vidal Sassoon presents Torval and Dean. <laughs> this is the haircut. <laughs>